what's up my favorite people y'all let's start off by saying it's that time and i am cramping so bad i just popped two ibuprofen and i was just laying down i said need to get up get up it's a thunderstorm around here well i'm still gonna be filming um but i had to tell myself Nia, you gotta get up like get up sis because yeah you want to lay down on your first day but you got shit to do so let's do it so i have when i had i wanted to film this video because i've been getting a lot of like questions regarding post grad update all of that stuff so i want to just catch you guys up i'm probably going to do a very i don't know what i'm gonna do with my eyes that's not the point of this video the point of this video is for us to talk i did put some stuff in my notes i always do that just to keep track of what i'm talking about because y'all know i'll be <laughs> I be running my damn mouth so yeah this is gonna be called getting my shit together um it's been two months post grad i think i graduated in may it's two months like i said it's been two months so this is two months post grad update so if you guys don't know i have been going well i have been going back and forth between here and new york my girlfriend lives in new york i have family in new york um i have friends in new york i want to move to new york why do i want to move to new york um everybody's like why don't you want to go back home to georgia it's you know cheaper it's this is this is that and the third i really want to break through in the media industry um and i just feel like and media beauty and tech industry and i honestly feel that new york is an ideal um state or city to do that i've lived in new york in atlanta i've lived in georgia and georgia is such a like and you could say this about new york but georgia has definitely become a very superficial um scene that everyone is flocking to it's definitely a very like heavily um film industry like city so that's not really what I want, i'm interested in and i just want something new i don't you know I, I moved from home to come to school and it's time for me to just keep trying and keep leveling up and keep challenging myself um so that's definitely why i want to move to new york and who wants to be in a long distance relationship and that's not i'm not saying like your relationship should make you want to move no that's not that's not my case i want to be in new york for myself but also my partner's there so that's helpful as well um so getting to new york i was supposed to be moving <laughs> this week actually which is really funny like i definitely was supposed to be um in the city moving out there to be there now and shit just did not go it didn't go that way um i have been i will be really like transparent with you guys um because like my money has been very tight <clears throat> and i'll discuss why well i'll tell you why my money has been very tight because i just haven't been on my shit i haven't been consistent and you know a lot of people like me just stop beating your fucking self up bitch and i'll be having to tell myself bitch stop beating yourself up literally because i didn't i haven't last year i was in a very like bad headspace I was getting out of a very interesting bad headspace whatever you want to call it and that shit affected my workload and I feel like for the longest I've been allowing like I just been pushing through because I had to especially like when I was in school I'm just like I'm just pushing through I tried to, to go to therapy earlier in the year and it just didn't work out that well so I just I feel like I've been like masking my depression a little bit with just work and just doing work and like since I've been out of school well no not even let's rewind um i've been mad i was masking it with schoolwork and shit like that so i wasn't really like i was on youtube on and off very inconsistently like nia where's this was that like i would vlog wouldn't post it so i just haven't been on my shit like i haven't been on my youtube shit i really fell off the planet of the earth basically not all the way but pretty much so now i'm like in a process of like getting back to that because youtube was really like my is my job like it's been really able to like help me in a lot of areas so i'm like okay i gotta get and i'm not a person who does youtube for money but i'm like okay i gotta get back on my shit like the bill's not gonna pay itself and you ain't got no more fucking um <laughs> refund checks coming in so you gotta get back on your shit sis so i've been like waking up every morning you know being grateful for the life that i have that the cars that i've been dealt even if shit is not the best right now shit could be worse and i think it's very important that you like even if shit is not the best in your life that you still are grateful for where you are because 
it shit could be worse and if you want to continue to dwell on negativity that's all you're going to know that's all you're going to experience negative shit when will good shit ever happen to you if you just continue to be a negative person so i've been choosing to not dwell on my neck the negative shit that's going on in my life and rather yes i'm not trying to avoid it i'm not like trying to be i don't think that this stuff is happening i'm not aware that this these things are happening to me and not actually actively working to make my my situations better but what i won't do is continue to mope around and be sad that shit is not how i want it to be um because that's just not beneficial or conducive to anyone so that's kind of where i am right now just kind of get back into the swing of everything um and get back on my feet really that that's what i'm that's what i'm doing so i was i'm so basically i was trying to move out to new york and i'm like it is <laughs> I am not ready to move out there right now. Like, that's not feasible. Um, So, you know, my mom's like, you know, I really want you to basically, like, I want you to, you got to do something. Nia. You got to figure out how you're going to make this work. She really wants me to come back home to Georgia. I don't want to move there. So, um, I think that's all I want to do for my eyeshadow today. Is that bad? Let me, I want to wear green lipstick. So, I might add a little bit of green. I hope that doesn't ruin this look. I really am praying that that does not ruin this look but i don't think it will i don't think it will <clears throat> and i'm like i don't want to move there and i don't know if i talked about this in the last vlog but i'm just catching guys up giving y'all a little synopsis so um i don't know i just didn't want to move there so i had like i just felt like very pressured by like my mom like you got to get a real job like get a real job get a real job get a real job so i started applying to jobs just because i'm like well if i say i want to be a freelancer if i say i want to be a youtuber if i say i want to do all this stuff full time um and if i'm not really in the place to do that right now let me at least get a job that i can do that until shit changes because i'm just not a nine to five type of person it just doesn't I don't, it just don't work for me like I've done it before it's not enough what it's not fun for me I think I'm ruining this look oh well so I applied to a few jobs I applied to one job and then I reached out to a recruiter to another job that I um have worked with before in the past and I was in New York maybe the beginning of this month and I had an interview with one of the jobs and they were like, oh, like, you're a really good candidate and stuff like that. But I, I still haven't heard from them. And it have do I feel discouraged? Um, not necessarily. Um, I don't think I feel discouraged. Well, not even I don't think. I know I don't necessarily feel discouraged because that's not really, like, having a job is not what I want. Um, the things that I feel like I've been able to learn in life have been through experience. And, like, me working a traditional 9 to 5 job, I just don't feel like it's going to give me the opportunity to, to be able to fully do the things that I want to do. Like, everybody really, like... <laughs> work your job until you have enough money to leave working your job that's just me like i don't that's not the life that i want for me if that works for everybody if, if that works some people are not super self-starters so it's harder for some people to um quit their job and like say i'm gonna do this shit full force like that's but that's okay like everybody is different we're all different people i'm a very per i'm a person i'm a i'm a self-starter so i'm gonna make it happen um, it might be slower than typical, but I'm going to make it happen. With that being said, um, I applied to two jobs. I, 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 I interviewed with them. I interviewed with multiple people on the teams. I have yet to hear, hear back from them. So when shit like this happens, I be like, God is telling me that's not what he want to do. Like, I look... I literally broke down. I was like crying like, God, please just like give me a sign. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, just use me. Allow me to to, to just take me where you want me to be. Like, let me, I'm going to be obedient. But you got to like, you got to lead the way. And I thought that was me getting a job. And I don't know if I, I got the job or not. Like, I'm sitting here. I could, you never know. They might hit me back sometime next week. But I know for right now where I am, I don't really want to work. But that's just me. So don't take what I'm saying. This makeup is horrendous. This makeup is horrendous. Give me a second. Let me go figure out what I'm about to do with this face. Okay, y'all. I think I fixed it by adding some damn shimmer. So that's what I'm about to be doing. Okay, so yeah. I don't know. Like, I just feel like in my world, at the end of the day, you just need to know what you're doing. You know? And it's like, I'm young. I want to exert my energy to my endeavors rather than wait until I'm 30 to say, oh, now I'm living my best life. I feel like life is too short to be waiting until tomorrow to make your dreams happen. And I'm not doing that. So that's just my, that's my soapbox. And do i have am i learning the hard way possibly you know like i literally was supposed to be out of my apartment this week but i, I told my apartment i said i i'm not leaving they said okay <laughs> they said just extend your lease for one more month so i'm about to take 
August to figure out what's next. Um, but even if I don't figure out what's next in August, I'll let y'all know when we get there, okay? So, what's next? So, am I moving to New York? No, but I will be back and forth between New York and um, Virginia. I'll actually be in New York this weekend. I'll be at Curl Fest. So, if you're there, definitely let's link, say hi. Let's, you know, let's do let's do what, what lovers do. Not really, but let's let's hug and stuff. Let's do that, that stuff. Okay, so, yeah, I had my job interview, stuff like that. So, right now, I'm going to talk about adulting. This shit is not hard. I mean, it's hard. Not it's not hard. This shit is hard. Um, it did not come with a manual, but I really will say, like, if you have a job, um, please just save your money. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Just save your money. Like, save your money. Save your money. Save your money. Because you just never know when any type of emergency is going to come up. You never know when you're going to need money. And you don't really want to be in a predicament where you're facing eviction, you're facing your car, about to get repossessed, your lights off, you don't have nothing to eat. I mean, I've been in all of those scenarios, but I'm just saying to say for you, you know, don't avoid, just try to avoid those situations as much as possible. Like try to troubleshoot that shit. And the way that you troubleshoot that, I feel like it's staying ahead of the curbs. You know, like don't over, if you're, don't allow your expenses to exceed your income. You know, sometimes it's okay like to embrace the struggle. It's okay if you don't have everything that everybody else has. It's okay if you're living below your means just so that you can make sure that you have enough money. It's okay. Like you don't have to be young living this glamorous life. Don't expect shit to be sweet and shit to be perfect. Like I literally went from living in a really nice fucking apartment um, with a roommate and I live <laughs> in the fucking projects, but I have an apartment that I pay for my own rent on time occasionally i try i try my best this shit not easy it didn't come in no manual and i'm trying the best that i can like with, with what i have and the knowledge that i have and that's you know i, I just want y'all to save your money don't try to live beyond your means don't try to be trying to keep up with the joneses stay within your reach of life like don't do too much if you can't afford it if you can't go out for drinks don't do it ain't nobody gonna fault you one day you're gonna have it but if you don't have it right now don't make it seem like you got it. That's all I mean. That, that's what I mean by that. I don't know what the hell my neighbors be doing, but I be in my house like scared, thinking I'm hearing shit, thinking somebody's trying to break into my apartment. It be the AC. I be hearing shit and like, I don't know. They be making noise over there. So I don't like it. That's all I got to say about that. Um, But I feel like wing liner can fix anything. Y'all, my cousin called me. Hold on. <laughs> Tell my cousin Jay, hey. Jay, say hey to the vlog. Wait, you're frozen. Yay. Hold on, y'all. Say hey. Hey. What so you... look what I got. Oh my God. Jay used to love ostriches so much, and she got. Is that Ollie? Yeah. I'm weak. Jay took her graduation pictures with this damn ostrich. I love him. He's so cute, and he pink oh, and green. <laughs> he pink and green too. Ah, I'm weak. Okay, so as my last dry, I just got these lashes. They're some 5D Volume Effect Faux Mink Faux 99 from the Beauty Supply Store. Y'all know, lashes be getting expensive and y'all bitches be selling the same damn lashes from AliExpress and be flipping them bitches for $30. And I'm not mad at y'all, but I ain't, y'all ain't gonna get me. I'm going to the Beauty Supply Store. I'm going straight to the AliExpress vendor. And I'll wait 30 days, but I ain't, I ain't fucking with y'all. I might support your black business, but that's besides the point. I want to talk about dating because that is something that is commonly asked of me. If you don't know, I'm gay. I like women. I'm, I won't even call myself gay. Somebody told me the other day I need to like embrace my lesbian self more. I'm just like, this is who I am. I just don't, I'm, I don't feel like I'm the voice of black people. I don't feel like I'm the voice of natural hair women. I don't feel like I'm, I just feel like I'm the voice of Nia and the experiences that Nia has. And that's that. So dating for me, I will say I'm still in a relationship. That's my boo. But I want to like talk about dating in like your 20s in general, dating in college, dating post-grad. I think a lot of us focus too much on being in serious relationships that we don't have fun and we be stuck on stupid for people who don't give a fuck or consider it our feelings. So I think everybody should try just dating casually, not having feelings attached, or I think it's called dating rotationally. Just seeing who you like, who you don't like. Does it work? If it don't work, move forward. 
Like, stop getting so attached to people that you feel like you can't let them go. You can't live without them. You have to be with them. And you fucking, you 20 years old. And you talk about something, this is the only person for me. And you don't, like, let's, come on. Like, it's too much. It's too many, it is too many fish in the sea. But you're not going to meet them if you're stuck on stoop about the next person that don't even treat you res with respect or have regard to your feelings. So, I would definitely say, when it just comes to dating, enjoy yourself. Have fun. You know, or take time to date yourself. Like, people be dating to, like, run away from their own issues. I've been there. I've done that. People, you know, like, don't do that shit. Like, face your demons before you try to go give them to somebody else because that shit is real. So, don't just be dating to date. Like, or I mean, yes, date to date, but don't be dating to, like, run away from your issues. That's pretty inconsiderate. And you can really fuck some people up in the, in the meantime. And also, like... Understand though, if you are dating seriously, while wow, I really think I just put this fucking lash on perfectly, if you are dating seriously, like don't stay in relationships for dumb shit, but also don't be so quick to give up on people because we are still growing. And I learned that from my sister, just because I think her and her husband's relationship is really cute. Like, don't be so quick to give up on people because they don't meet everything or like shit is not sweet all the time you like i don't know how to explain this because people be like no don't like stay for nothing i mean don't stay for bullshit yes don't stay for bullshit don't be in a toxic relationship where they beating you up and talking to you like you a fucking dog and disrespecting you and, and just being blatantly disrespectful to you no please don't stay in those type of situations but if it's a, a situation where it's like y'all need to work on your communication or y'all just need to grow as individuals like you have to understand with the relationship y'all are both growing y'all are both human beings and being somebody who's so young dating y'all are not completely grown up y'all still have growing to do so like if you see yourself being with somebody and you see that you know this is somebody that you want to build something with don't be so quick to to give up because it's not exactly what you want it to be right now but if you don't see it ever changing and you don't feel like that person's actually, you know, taking in consideration the shit that you're telling them, then, I mean, go ahead, leave. But don't be staying this shit for too long. That's all I gotta say. If it's not worth it, don't stay for too long. And that's my scoop on dating. Anytime of life. I'm wearing Fenty Beauty Foundation today. And what else we gonna talk about? Okay, writing my book, y'all. So, I have been, I've been staying up late lately because, I don't know, like, it's a lot of information out there. It's a lot of like knowledge that I've acquired like just in such a short period of time and I will be honest like I stepped away from my book I started a podcast which we're gonna talk about after I talk about the book I started a few things and I get too psyched out it's imposter syndrome but basically I'm like I am not qualified to talk about this stuff I be thinking just because I'm a 22 year old you know just a little college student I am not qualified to write this book like I still I be thinking like oh I need to go get some more experience I need to go and do some more stuff. I need to go see some more things. This fucking headband's making my head hurt. I need to go see some more things before I finish this book. Like, I'm not the person that could talk about this stuff. I really be saying this shit to myself. And I'm like, you are so... Nia, get your shit together. That's not the case. Like, whether the book is an Amazon bestseller or it's... You know, I don't... I, I think I need to let go of just expectations. And I need to really just allow myself to be. I think for the longest, I've been feeling like I haven't been... 100% my best self and it just sucks you know like I, I think I've been the person that's been talking myself out of being my best self so <laughs> this book gonna be done soon that's all I gotta say and I mean that shit and I'm not trying to complete this book for nobody else like I'm not trying to like say oh I did it because I you know I'm trying to do this for me like this is definitely like a me thing like I'm doing this for me so I'm very excited I hope that you guys um, I'll keep you all, you know, up to date. It's pretty much, the name of the book is called, um, Brand Your Girl, Brand Your Girl, Brand Like a Girl. And essentially what we're going to be discussing is seven chapters of pretty much like unmasking your brand, your niche market, your target audience, you know, talking about distractions that you might be facing, how to overcome those distractions, imposter syndrome, utilizing social media, making money on social media, understanding social media, you know, leveraging your opportunities, networking, and just manifesting all of that good stuff. So it's a lot of like personal stories that I have in there from me, like just with the things that I've experienced while being in this industry. And just also just, I just want to share my, I just want to share my, my, my knowledge. Cause every day 
I get little reminders that I need to be writing this book. Like I was even texting my friend today. She's an influencer too. And she was like, um, she wanted to like contact brands and stuff. And I'm like, do you have a media kit? And she's like, what's that? And I'm like, see, like, this is why I need to write my book because as an influencer in 2019, it's just certain shit you should have. To, because now we're at a place where you can't not have certain things because that's going to allow brands to take advantage of you. Especially as a black influencer, you definitely have to be on your shit more than anything because if not, these brands going to take advantage of you. And I don't, I done been taken advantage of as the influencer. I don't want no more people to get taken advantage of, especially if they're serious about that shit. So the book going to be done soon. I've been writing and I've been very conflicted because I didn't even tell you about this. So. I got, I've been taking these courses. I feel like this shit is too ashy. It's not, I'm tripping. I've been taking these courses online with Harvard Business School and I've been feeling very defeated. Um, I literally been feeling like I'm not good at math. And the whole thing is like business analytics, financial accounting, economics, all of the shit that I fear. Like it's all of the shit that I fear. And like I've been getting good, good um, scores on the test, but I just feel like it's just scary and I feel like I'm not doing well so I've been kind of like falling behind on my work and I'm like Nia <laughs> you have to get back on your shit because this is not it like you said you're gonna sign up and you're gonna do this it's only a 10-week program so you need to finish it like finish what you start and I just and I'm, I'm I think at first I will admit I don't I, I don't think that I was 100% doing it for me I think it was just something cool like oh I could just say I did this you know but like now when I'm like really and go for myself into the materials and I'm really like understanding stuff a little bit more even if I don't understand it I'm like no like this is valuable information for somebody who is interested in getting their MBA because I'm gonna go get my MBA I have some GRE books that I was gifted last year um, from someone from Hampton shout out to Paris and I'm gonna go get my MBA so this is just kind of showing me what I don't know and I feel like and what I need to like strengthen myself for once I decide to, you know, sit down and like really study my GRE books, but also um, when I'm ready to go get my MBA. So I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys didn't know about that. But yeah, the book will be done soon. I just want you guys to help me, hold me accountable. And if the book ain't done by September, I need y'all to like be messaging me, bullying me on the internet. Where's the fucking book me in? That's all I need to hear. So if you guys don't know, what you probably don't because I don't talk about it much. I started a podcast and it's a podcast called Brown Like a Girl the Podcast. You can listen to it on Apple iTunes. You can listen to it on um, Spotify, Google Podcasts. You can listen to a lot of different places. And I'm going to be making an official video about my podcast, what's it about, and some other podcasts that I like. So be on the lookout for that too. But um, I started my podcast and I stopped it because <laughs> me again getting in my fucking head i was getting in my head and i was just like damn ain't nobody listening to this shit and then i stopped making episodes and people were like okay bitch where's the episodes so i want to bring that to your attention that you know even i like go through my stuff where i feel like my work isn't good enough and we have to stop having that attitude towards our to our to, towards stuff you know i think that's my biggest thing that i think that's what life is showing me right now you have to have a positive attitude towards everything that you're doing. You have to pump gratitude. You have to pump positivity. You have to just be be happy about and, and confident about the work that you were doing. You're doing. I just got done watching um, Kennedy, President Kennedy, here on YouTube. I love her. She's funny. Um, I just got watch, done watching one of her videos. But honestly, she's just talking about confidence and like really just you know being secure in the shit that you produce and not let nobody or anything get in the way of you doing it. And that's some real shit. Like you you and i talk about this a lot in my book you will be the person that makes doesn't make your dream happen you because you too busy making up shit in your head and not thinking that you're good enough stop doing that to yourself and i know this video is supposed to be about post grad but it's also just about reflection and just me talking about how i feel about myself and that's what i have been doing as of lately and i'm stopping that so if you have any girls that you would like to hear be on my podcast or if you feel like I should like have guests on my show but also um talk about things topics you know let me know the podcast is called brown like a girl so we do talk about business entrepreneurship personal branding those types of things and just sharing the stories of people who have really awesome companies so if there's anybody that you would like to hear on the podcast or if there's anything that in that realm you would like to hear me talk about just definitely reach out 
and let your girl know. Last thing I want to talk about before I finish up this look is comparison. I think that that's something to hone in on all the time. And I don't think that that's something that you could talk too much about. Um, I really just think, you know, even me, I'll be looking at people, my friends, Instagrams, I'm so proud of them because they're like on doing great things, getting great jobs. And I'll be like, Nia, <laughs> you still live in Hampton. Since you're still in Hampton, what are you doing? But I just have to remind myself, my journey is different and that's okay. Their journey is different and their journey is beautiful. So, you know, don't let your comparison or don't let, you know, the success that other people, you know, have gone on lead you to be a bitter bitch. Not cute. All right, y'all. So I'm looking like a punk rock. I don't know. My fro is big. Hair is big. My lips is green. I don't know. I'm just trying to bring old Nia back you know and not like I don't know I feel like the fast past four years I was in the, on a journey of like finding myself but also in a sense kind of like going back in my shell and not being as expressive as I used to be especially in high school I really didn't give a fuck but I feel like when I got to college I had to tone shit down I just I don't know like I kind of just lost essence and pieces of myself so I'm just like in a in a in a, a mission to really come back and just be my complete full self um but yeah really this i just these videos are for me i will say they like personal journeys i definitely like to go back and hear how i was or how i'm doing um in this time especially in this stage right now where i'm at where i don't know what the fuck is going on but i'm getting my shit together so this video if you are a recent graduate um i hope that you're doing well I ho i'm sending you positivity i'm sending you love and i'm sending you just good vibes like if shit is not you know how you want it to be at this moment just know that keep working and keep moving and keep pushing and keep being positive and shit is going to change eventually don't dwell on the shit not being where you want it to be because shit will change you know and it might not be overnight it might might not be next month but shit's gonna change but you have to evoke that change and you have to push that change so that's this little um update if you have any other further questions be sure to let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and i'll be sure to see you all in the next one i love you guys and i hope you all have an amazing day